consequences of the revolt of 1857. The British Parliament felt that they could not carry on ruling India with the same policies anymore. First of all, the British government accepted direct responsibility for ruling India. The powers of the East India Company were transferred to the British Crown in order to ensure a more responsible management. The Governor General of India was given the title of Viceroy, that is, a personal representative of the Crown, Queen Victoria at that time. The other important changes were the following. All ruling chiefs were assured that no further annexation would be made under the subsidiary alliance or doctrine of lapse. It promised to safeguard the interests of 560 odd princes of India. The crown promised not to interfere in the social and religious practices of the people. Policies were made to protect landlords and zamindars and gave them security of rights over their lands. The British believed that the Muslims were responsible for the revolt in a big way. So the land and property of Muslims was confiscated on a large scale and they were treated with suspicion and hostility. From now, the proportion of European soldiers in the army would be increased and Indian soldiers decreased. In future, more soldiers would be recruited from among the Gurkhas, Sikhs and Pathans, instead of soldiers from Abad, Bihar, Central India and South India. The revolt of 1857 was first step in emergence of a national movement. It united, though in a limited sense, the people of India for a common cause. It proved to be a major source of inspiration and raised patriotic sentiments among the people. It was the first revolt of its kind where people considered them as brothers, irrespective of caste or religion against the British. Thank you.